hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's been a long time since i've come on my channel and had a sit down talk and just kind of like kept it real um 2020 was a crazy year as we all know and it's 2021 now this video is long overdue but girl the pandemic it just mm -mm. it just had me out of my flow but now it's a new year and i feel like i'm always on a reset when the year starts so i'm excited for this year i'm praying this year is not gonna be crazy even though we're in the first week and america is already acting ghetto but you know in terms of my life and <laughs> what i have in store for myself you know i'm hoping that it's nothing compared to what's happening in the world right now so um the first thing that i'm going to talk about and update you guys on is my weight loss journey i have been cringing to kind of come on here and talk about it only because um i have not lost weight i've actually gained weight since the last video that i made um i don't know if you guys could see it but i could see it on camera i'm actually like wow <laughs> it's so it's so crazy being back on camera and i'm a little rusty to tell you the truth but bear with me Basically, um, I started 2020 on my weight loss journey. I had lost about 15 pounds between January and March. And I was feeling myself. I was seeing the changes in my face. It was slimmer. I don't know if you guys watched my Miami vlog, but my face was way slimmer than this and my body was completely slimmer than this, um, how I am now. But obviously, with the pandemic happening, um, I did not anticipate not having a gym. I did not anticipate not having a way to work out. And I started changing my eating habits for the most part, but I really was not consistent with how I was eating. And I started to order out a lot, like a lot of food. Um, during the pandemic so those pandemic pounds just started to accumulate slowly but surely every single week um which is pretty much how i gained back the 15 pounds i i low-key kind of feel like i gained more than 15 even though the scale tells me i'm right back where i was last year in january and so um yeah one thing that i will say is that i kind of regret starting my channel about my weight loss journey only because i feel it started to become this thing that was hanging over my shoulder because here i was i had announced to the whole world like i'm gonna lose this weight i'm gonna be pounds down and even though i was losing the weight at the beginning you know just to kind of take a different route and i hadn't really mastered that discipline yet it wasn't enough time for me to you know kind of cut out my bad habits um and then also not being able to exercise in a gym I just feel like it started to make me feel like shitty. I would get people asking me like, oh, whatever happened to your weight loss? Like, are you still losing weight? You know, what's going on with that? It just already is a touchy subject as is. So people asking me about that really just kind of started to get on my nerve. And I was like, why did I even start this weight loss journey in the public now i see why everybody does this weight loss and they start with oh how i lost 30 pounds in three months after they lost the weight and after they've already gained that momentum to keep going um even though i had done it for accountability i wanted the accountability factor but yeah having everyone kind of ask me about my channel and what was going on it kind of just like I was just in a very weird space when the pandemic hit and <laughs> yeah that's what's pretty much going on with my weight loss journey when the gyms opened back up I was in there for a good month I was in the gym consistently going every day because I really was like I can't if I continue like the way I'm going I'm going to blow up 10 times more 
um because i'm not working out i'm not being active i tried doing outside workouts home workouts and they didn't work for me and i don't like working out in the heat because it was summertime so i was just like i'm running out of options here they need to open up the gyms or something so when the gyms did finally open back up i was so happy and i was in there for like a month and then i stopped going as frequently because school started and i'm trying not to be hard on myself about it because it's something that i know that i will accomplish i just have to continue to persevere basically um right now i do go to the gym at least twice a week i try i'm not very consistent at this moment and my eating habits have been so sucky because it's been holiday season and i'm always on the go so i don't really have a moment to sit still but i have to like start getting back into the mindset because it's a new year now okay <laughs> it's a new year and um I hate to be that person, but I've always been that person. At the start of a new year, I am motivated and ready to go. What I'm honestly coming to find is that losing weight is such a process. It's a mental process. And I think that mentally, I just wasn't there in 2020 to lose the weight. Like, I know a lot of people probably lost hella weight in the pandemic, but I was not in that space. Like, just with everything that was happening in the world and in my life, period, I think that I just was not there yet. I was there in the beginning of the year. I was definitely optimistic about the year and all, but as the months started to go by, I definitely was like, yeah, nah. There are other things that I need to focus on. Anyway, enough of my weight loss journey. I know my channel was mainly for my weight loss, but I think I'm gonna post less videos about my weight loss and more videos like with girl talks chit chats motivational talks and i really just want to share myself with people because that's really what i enjoy doing um so my channel is gonna probably take a little bit of a turn into lifestyle i'm gonna be bringing some vlogs to my channel as well because um i've been vlogging but I want to get more into vlogging and, you know, travel vlogging and things like that. I do actually fly out to Atlanta tomorrow. So there will be a vlog on that. And I'm excited to share that as well. I'm really looking forward to it. I did go to Atlanta in October, but I didn't vlog it. Um, so this time that I'm going now in January, I am going to make sure I vlog it and I post it and yeah, that you guys have something to watch. Um, just kind of like a day in the lives and bringing you guys into my world and hopefully you guys love it and are interested and you stay and you watch and you comment and you engage with me. Cause yeah, that's really what I want my channel to turn into. Um, I will from time to time post like weight loss stuff, but honestly for the most part I'm gonna kind of just do that in silence and work at my own pace and not feel the pressure of posting it even though I know like it may help some people and that's really what ultimately I want to do is help other people who struggle like me and see me from like the beginning where you know I'm right now in the 200s and I want to get down to my goal weight is 180 so I just want others to feel inspired by watching me. But for my own <laughs> personal like comfortability, I think right now I'm gonna just get to a place where I'm build I've built that momentum and I could actually share my journey now, you know, before I just say, oh guys, I'm gonna do my weight loss journey again. And I just don't, <laughs> so. But if I'm being completely honest, 2020 was not a terrible, terrible year for me. Internally, I feel like I grew so much. And one thing that I gained in 2020 was purpose. I think because I had so much time to just sit down and reflect, and learn myself <laughs> i spent a lot of time by myself and i realized what i'm supposed to do with my life and that is music 
Tana. So my channel is about to start being geared towards me chasing my dream and following my passion in music. Um, I am a singer songwriter and I am pursuing that. So I want you guys to kind of come with me and you know support me on this journey as well. So I have like a bunch of journeys going on. <laughs> I kind of had lost sight of that for like a few years actually i stopped writing as much and singing as much life kind of just got in the way and that's something like for any of my young viewers right now that are watching like focus on your purpose number one and number two understand that life only gets more complicated responsibility continues to pile up you think it's bad now and it's not <laughs> it is not and that's one thing that i kind of wish i knew before but time does not wait for you to do what you gotta do so yeah i definitely was able to get back to the music and write more and um get back into singing which i was really happy about and i released my first single it is called wasted soul um so you could just stream it on all streaming platforms it's naishe wasted soul that's my single you think i can't see that you're tolerating me doing the same things that you know frustrating me you're so good at demanding your respect don't mince my words this one comes from my chest mm. like an ego that's been standing on Manipulated, you are so quick to forget I know you hate it, without me you wouldn't have made it Protecting your masculine frame, you know it don't hit the same When you ain't got a dollar to give to the kid but you And the EP is coming very, very soon um, I'm still working in the process of the EP And so, yeah, that will, the release date for that will be dropped but that's another part of my channel i am going to add especially with the day in the lives i want to show you i want to show you guys like how it looks to kind of pursue this music career and this music dream that i have um and i hope you guys will find that content interesting um as well <laughs> so yeah purpose was something that i definitely felt i always kind of knew what my purpose was but i wasn't really like fully stepping into it i will definitely make a different video for the topic of purpose but i'm happy i'm at peace and i'm more fulfilled than working for a company that couldn't give two dams about me okay like when i tell you i was not in a happy place in the beginning of 2020 even though i felt i had everything i had a good job i had my own apartment i was doing everything that i thought that i was supposed to be doing but i was i was not being productive i was not producing in the right direction i was busy I was busy, but I was not pr productive. And I think a lot of people realized that in 2020. I think a lot of people got a moment to sit still and be like, damn, I'm busy. Nine, nine to, I'm, I wake up 6 a.m. in the morning. I get to the office by 9 a.m. I'm done by 5 p.m. And then after that, I go home. I do my laundry. I do my chores. I run a couple errands here and there. And then I wake up and I do it all over again. And that's life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want your life to look like. Then you've achieved it. But for someone like me who has just always wanted more and I want my life to look a certain way. And when it's not looking that way, I'm like, okay, what am I not doing? I think that for me was like, yeah, I'm tired every day, but where am I reaping? Like, where am I reaping? Where are the rewards? Because the check comes in every two weeks and I'm still like struggling. So yeah, that for me, like 2020 definitely opened my eyes to going where my heart will be fulfilled and doing something for the love of it and trying to make money off of what I love. Whether you have a talent or a skill set and you enjoy doing something, I really feel like you should learn to make profit off of that because you'll enjoy waking up every morning to do that 
you know and not everybody has that luxury to to just drop what they have going on and just change things completely um you know so i am fortunate that i was in a position where i was able to kind of make changes where i needed to make changes and allocate my focus time and money into something that i really enjoy and love so yeah as you guys can see i'm in a different background as well so i'm not in my old apartment anymore and i really actually like this background i kept the i kept you know the brick which i really love the look it's pretty chic so give it a give this video a thumbs up if you like my decor my background decor as well but that's really it you guys for this video i will be seeing you guys very soon more often i promise um give this video a thumbs up please and please subscribe to my channel okay please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video